Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here, and wow. I thought he was an actual, like, demon, not that he was just wearing a mask. Okay, so he's a rocker... He's a rocker demon... Huh? Okay, anyway, anyway. Um, Deimos is Mark is a warning. Check out Deimos in your locker now. As a crew member, you've also unlocked Deimos as a ninja in Save the World and the three months of new Spotify premium subscription for free limit supply. So as someone said, yeah, we get three months of Spotify premium now with um with the crew pack. Um so I want to focus on that over there. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this right now. Uh, I, I know that I already did a video kind of, you know, talking about in the upcoming home base status report and, and you know, the whole thing. But I, I really want to talk about what I think this means for Save the World. Um, because there's a lot of, I guess, there's a lot of, of hope out there that Save the World is not dead. And at the same time, there's a lot of, you know, people who have been like, no, it's gone. Save the World It's dead. It's over. You know, just shut it down, you know, board it up, just, you know, put away, throw out the, the bacon, throw out the pancakes. It's all over. I find it very interesting that they are actually referring Save the World. They're actually kind of putting Save the World front and center in this. You even saw there, he was there on top of the car playing music. <laughs> while all the husks are showing around. <sighs> I'm going to start this by something that I was talking about during stream today. Ever since Battle Royale came out, and, and, and I want to say this with the most, um, I want to say this with, with the most care possible, Fortnite Epic made the decision to stop developing Save the World long, long, long ago. For those of you who, or for those of us who have been around for a long time, if you ever, if you ever saw the Save the World, if you, or if you heard about Save the World before 2017, you know that like a lot of games, like maybe Outriders, in other games like that, they had they had an online presence. They had a uh, Reddit presence. They had you know kind of like that. The developers were trying to contact and communicate with the community long before the game came out. Uh, Save the World came out. I believe it was at the end of mid 2017. Uh, there was an alpha before that. There were people who were in the alpha. Uh, I I never got into the alpha back then. I, oh, I kind of did. I played for two weeks the alpha, but that's a whole other story. Um, but there was a lot there was a lot of communication um there were there were videos there were uh basically um like streams that the developers did with the reddit community where they would just sit there and just show the game and talk about the game for hours there was a lot of pre work on save the world long before battle royale was even a concept that they were going to do when the game came out, when Save the World came out, there was a ton of communication with the developers. There were developer blogs and developer vlogs where they would actually do videos on Save the World explaining. There was roadmaps. There was communication. There was all. Uh, there was so much give and take and communication um, because they were actively working on Save the World as Fortnite. Then Battle Royale came out and. I've said this before, I don't think that Battle Royale, they ever, no one ever imagined in their wildest dreams that Battle Royale was going to be the phenomena that it became. Battle Royale became something that just was, it it rewrote the book, it, it changed the world. And 
we're talking about something that just happened at the perfect time. Um, I remember in 2016 when I remember talking to someone who's also a content creator and we were talking about like, what's the next big thing. And, um, back then we had, we were talking about save the world and we were also talking about, um, uh, what's it called? Sea of Thieves. Uh, and we were thinking, you know what, that there were these hyper realistic games coming out, which were very cool and very, very awesome. But there was also these like cartoony kind of you know models and in games and bright colors and stuff like that um i remember that he went on to play save the world and uh sorry he went on to play sea of thieves and i decided to play um save the world and also i have some friends who play other games but um i was really i was really attracted to the concept of save the world of you know building and the whole and all that um it was a different take on the mmo kind of style of game that it really i thought i thought it really would be really awesome i never thought that battle royale was going to come and do what it did no one no one thought i remember playing battle royale on the very first day it came out and i remember streaming it and there was only like three of us streaming battle royale because it just sounded so different it was not at all it wasn't like cod it wasn't it wasn't anything that anyone had ever seen before and as they say the rest is history battle royale came to be a worldwide phenomena it came to change the battle royale scene in such an intense way but in doing so fortnite decided at a certain point to they they basically said okay all of this developer power all this focus we have on save the world we're gonna take it we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna put it in fortnite battle royale and the hundred million the, they made that commitment to spend a hundred million over three years in tournaments and stuff um the billions of dollars that have you know been spent on on battle royale the whole thing with epic and apple and the continuing struggle there they lost a gigantic portion of their player base but they're still continuing it's it's incredible to see what happened there but all along that time and and all along when that happened there was a point when we felt that that complete that focus was no longer in save the world and it shifted to battle royale and as that continued more and more focus more and more attention got taken away from save the world i remember the last day we had a roadmap the last time we had a roadmap and those roadmaps were they were so exciting it was so exciting to see that they had plans for content for heroes for bugs for different things that well <laughs> they didn't have plans to for bugs <laughs> although it feels like that um but they had plans for all of this different content that they were going to be doing that they were going to be working on they were going to be giving us and yes all of that kind of disappeared we lost the roadmaps the roadmap you know the posts um our patch notes were no longer patch notes if you guys remember when patch notes actually gave you a long list of different things that were changed or when an ability or a weapon was shifted made more powerful or nerfed it was it was beautiful it was absolutely beautiful the amount of information we used to have back then and the vlogs and the blogs and the communication with developers all of that all of that went away because the developers we're focusing on battle royale that's just how it happened that's that's just what happened and it's okay it's okay that that's what happened can i get a mod over on twitch please so the reason why i'm saying this the reason why i'm saying all of this the reason why i'm, I'm going through all of this is i find I, I think this is great okay i i think this is really really cool yeah i know uh i think this is really really cool i think that i think that this is kind of like the the best way that they were able to create a free to play kind of concept for 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 save the world um because we know that we know that you know battle royale is there we know battle royale has a lot of attention and something i've been saying for a long time people were saying ever since it's been almost a year now 
that we had that whole this new rotation in save the world where we have you know the different events and the different packs and all this you know we actually started living that way a year before a year before ever since they started with the whole bow thing where they just started releasing bows for those of you who don't know we used to have every single week every single week we used to get a new weapon in the weekly shop every single week we would get new heroes in before there was an event shop before we had a gold shop either too we had that's how it was we used to get the heroes like there was weekly updates and man the, the the quest lines and the narrative quest lines and all of this was that we had so much content like that that yes even back then of course we could consume that content in a couple of hours and it was gone but it has gradually changed so much to where we are now to where we are now that we are getting one short narrative quest line once every three months where we don't see it when was the last time we saw a new llama when was the last time we saw when they started putting the when, when they started putting all of the weapons in, in survivor and heroes in the in the in the collection book and then they made it so that we could research them and we were kind of back then we even thought oh this is great this means that we're actually going to be getting a lot of new content we're going to get new llamas we're going to get new stuff like that so we have slowly okay we have slowly 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 been just slowly progressing down 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 we've been going down the mountain for very very long so when when someone tells me just wait there's new stuff coming yes i i understand it's possible that we may get we still don't know the largest story it's possible that there is a large story coming someday it's possible that we'll get other small narrative quest lines but for someone who's been playing from the very beginning i don't ever see us getting back to that i don't get us i don't remember i don't i don't believe that we're going to get back to the point where we're going to have roadmaps and weekly developer talks and developer blogs and developer vlogs and the communication on reddit and uh a new weapon a brand new weapon every week and a new quest line even a mini quest line every month you know or every couple of weeks because i remember if i remember correctly we were on a rotation of every two weeks we would get a new quest line new areas new maps I, I i don't see them doing that unless and i'm gonna i'm gonna end with this because yes this is a rant i i said this i said this during my stream which i am streaming right now still i said that the only way the only way that i could see them going back to that is if when epic saw when Fortnite saw how much Battle Royale was taking off, someone said, okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to put, put all our attention on this Battle Royale thing. We need to put everything we have behind this BR thing because this is going to be huge. And they said, listen, save the world. Creative didn't even exist back then. Save the world. We're going to take all of your developers, all of your resources, everything that you've been working on, and we're going to put it into battle royale okay we're going to focus it we're going to make it into skins do you do you realize how many of the battle royale skins were probably meant for save the world how many of those skins were originally probably and resources and assets how much of all that was probably originally planned for save the world all the different maps and stuff like all the different resources in the world they, they must have thought of using them in different maps and save the world first they didn't have all this ready to go i i firmly believe that so many skins and so many assets were originally earmarked and designed for save the world but then they took them and put them into battle royale so the only way that i can believe that battle royale at save the world is going to get that kind of attention again is if someone said Okay, 
we are going to work okay we are going to work on battle royale we're going to put all our resources right now we're going to take all of our resources and put them into battle royale and when the this whole battle royale craze ends then <laughs> we will take all the resources we'll take all the developers and we'll put them back on save the world battle royale is finally winding down a little bit this season that we're currently in it is obviously in preparation for either them winding down on battle royale permanently or in preparation for taking battle royale into unreal engine 5 and potentially chapter 3 of battle royale and maybe something brand new and incredible or they could be like hey we're gonna start working on save the world again yes there have been some huge updates there's been the recombobulator system there's been the hero system um there's been some major quality of life and meta changes in save the world but we're still missing huge portions of it the meta change to the to the heroes and abilities that that never got finished the rebalancing in higher level missions and how they were how they originally told us that was going to work how they originally told us that they were going to rebalance it in such a way so that the materials and the evolution materials that you got especially the the perk ups the legendary and epic perk -up mod, especially all that it wouldn't take you 14 hours which it doesn't take that much anymore I think it takes like eight or nine hours now but it wouldn't back then it would take us 14 hours of grinding to be able to take one weapon up to max in legendary legendary perks that's slightly changed but they originally told us that the way they were going to rework that and fix that it would be that you could max out several weapons in just playing a few hours that never got finished there's there's some major major parts of the of the game and we're talking we're talking back in like version 9 and version 10 of the game before actually 7 and 8 7 8 and 9 was when they were talking about big changes they were going to be doing and all those changes all those big meta changes and big you know how the game was going to work those kind of halfway got done but then they just forgot about them or they just left them on the back burner and then they took them off the back burner and they put them in the fridge and then they took them off the fridge you know from the fridge and they put them in the freezer and they're they've been on nice for a while so there's a lot of really big things that we know that save the world has not done the survivor system the defender system the expedition system there's still also within save the world massive massive chunks of the game that we know are not finished they never got to them and then it brings us to this i think this is great i think this is this actually there save the world is actually there and it's they're not charging 20 dollars for it they're not charging 10 dollars for it they're putting it for free in the crew something that hundreds of thousands of people already are paying for every single month now is it going to be a staple is this a one-time thing are they going to put the fortnite access for the save the world access in the next month's crew and the next one after that which also brings us to the question what's going to happen to the save the world packs in save the world if those skins are eventually going to show up in the battle rail shop anyway are they going to stop doing those packs the yearly rotation that we're on is it now is it set are those five packs the packs we're always going to see and we're never going to see any new packs will this is this a test is this a test from battle royale and from fortnite to see let's see how many people actually try save the world the save the world part one is done they told us even though a lot of us don't agree that it's done they said that the first campaign the stand and fight campaign is done but that also makes you feel like there's another campaign coming like there's a second campaign and a third campaign and a fourth campaign twine peaks was created as for those of you who don't know twine peaks was created as a placeholder because people who finished K 
Uncanny Valley, before the Canny Valley story came out, they didn't have anything else to do. So they made Twine Peaks and then expanded it. And then we got the Storm King. And then we got the MSK. And then we got the level. One. Then they, they, they did the 140 missions, which we didn't have 140s for a while. And now the 160 missions. They've just continued to expand it to appease people who are at that level. But the stand and fight campaign, Stonewood, Plankerton, and Canny Valley, that entire storyline leading up to the whole learning about, you know, the rift and Dr. Vinderman and ending with the taking down the Storm King, that is the chapter one. That is chapter one in Save the World, the stand and fight campaign. How many more campaigns did they plan? What more could possibly be? on a whiteboard somewhere jotted down. I am hopeful as always. I'm always hopeful guys. I'm always hopeful for save the world. I've been playing this game for four years now, almost four years, and I love it. I still love playing the game. It's such a fun game and I want to see it. I, I want to see more of it. I want to see a second campaign. I want to see a an area after twine peaks i would love to see a twine peaks storyline or something after that because time peaks was supposed to be lava and kind of that you know so there's so much there's so much there guys i like this i like this because it's going to introduce save the world to a whole giant amount of new people who never even heard about save the world and i will say this like i've always said it save the world as it exists right now is a fantastic game stonewood prankerton and kenny valley the standing fight campaign that entire storyline is huge you will spend months playing save the world right now if you're a brand new player and exploring everything learning everything all the lore all the mini quests all the side quests all the events everything it is huge and it is fun and it is amazing and i love save the world if you've already finished the game of course you have nothing else to do but that's the nature of games i'm hopeful i'm hopeful that this will create something new and for all of us who play save the world i would say if you see someone new help them out Save the world, just like Battle Royale, is definitely a game to be played with others, with friends. And if you don't have people to play Save the World with, join a community. There's a lot of people who still stream Save the World over in Twitch. There's a lot of people on YouTube who make content for Save the World. Join their streams, join their videos, watch their videos, join their communities. There's a lot of people with discords that play Save the World and they're always looking for people to play with. Join these communities, play the game, don't trade. Again, don't trade. I don't believe this game was meant for trading and you can completely play this game without trading. It's a fantastic fun game. And I would love to see this. I would love to see them create more. And right now I saw I saw a comment right now and I'll finish with this. Someone said they've forgotten about Save the World. And no, I don't think they forgot about Save the World. They intentionally took attention away from Save the World. They took the I've talked about this lots of times before too. If you guys remember long ago, we had the, we, we felt it when Blockbuster first came out back in version four or five, we felt the deviation. Save the world and battle royale used to be side by side. The campaigns, the, the promotions, the skins, everything was kind of side by side. And then boom. Save the world continued on this merry little way and Battle Royale went in a whole new direction with the sponsorships, with the with the with the collaborations, with the Marvel, with all of that. It just Battle Royale went in the went to the moon. And it's awesome. It's really awesome. But Save the World's still there. And the fact that it still has a very large player base and we're still enjoying it after all this time. I truly hope that Fortnite will realize that, the Epic will realize that. And I truly hope that this can be a start of something new. 
So again, if you see someone new playing Save the World or someone you've played Battle Royale with, they're like, oh, look, I have access to Save the World now. Show them around. There is no real tutorial in Save the World. <laughs> it doesn't really tell you what to do. A lot of people just want to trade and rush to Twine Peaks. It's an awesome game. Definitely you can help out. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. If you guys are watching the stream, don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. We got to have some fun over in Battle Royale. And we have to uh, gift some people who won some raffles. Um, for those of you who don't know, today is Mini Pygmas. And we do raffles uh, for stuff in the shop. So I can gift people. But thanks a lot. As always, I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor. And have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to try and call this a positive rant. I hope it is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, if you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere. We still got a lot more. See ya.